guys, it's Ro. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is like nothing else we've ever done before. I really wanted to celebrate 12 days of Christmas because it's the holidays and I'm a baker, so I wanted to celebrate it my way, which means 12 days of cookies. For this video, we are making 12 holiday cookie recipes. And because I'm ridiculous and I love the holidays, I'm also gonna be doing some outfit changes. So let me know in the comments down below which was your favorite cookie and which one was your favorite outfit. And if you enjoy baking videos, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe, it's free, and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. All right, now without further ado, let's make the first cookie. Let's get started. The first recipe that we're going to be making are snowball cookies. This recipe is from my second cookbook, Baking All Year Round, and I love them because I think they're really easy to make, they're delicious, and they're so cute. They look like snowballs. For all of these recipes that we're making today, I'm going to put all of the ingredients, their measurements in the description down below. So if you want to follow along at home and make some cookies, you can. All right, let's scoop our butter into the bowl. Boop, it's at room temperature. And we've got our sugar, powdered sugar. Then using an electric hand mixer, we're gonna mix together until light and fluffy. Just takes a couple of minutes. Now add some vanilla extract. Oop, and some fresh vanilla beans. Mix it up one more time. It's looking good, now set it off to the side. Next, in a medium-sized bowl, we're gonna whisk together flour, roasted, finely chopped pecans, and a little bit of salt. This is looking good. Now pour all of your dry ingredients into your butter mixture. Now mix these two together till well combined. The dough is gonna be very crumbly. The dough's all ready. This is what it should look like. It almost feels like wet sand. This is perfect. So you're gonna take a little scoop, fill her up. I like to pack it in there. And this is just so all of the little snowballs will be about the same size and then Take it out and press together with your hands. You don't wanna roll it because it will come apart. Then place it onto a baking sheet lined with a piece of parchment paper. Keep doing this to make the rest of your snowball cookies. Our cookies are now ready to bake. You're gonna heat your oven to 350 degrees and bake for about 12 minutes. After your cookies have baked, give them a little bit of time to cool, but you want to roll them in powdered sugar while they're still warm. Over here, I've rolled all of these in powdered sugar and I've left a few out to do together. So you're going to take your little cookie, put it in the bowl of powdered sugar, roll it around. You can even roll them multiple times if the first time you do it, it has a thin layer of powdered sugar and you want more. <gasps> yeah, just like so. Then do this to the rest of your cookies. And ta-da, there you have it, snowball cookies. Perfect for the holidays. I love these because they're classic. It's a wonderful family recipe and they're so crumbly and they just melt in your mouth. Yum. Mm. All right, on to day two. Today I am baking with my mom, Mamma Mia, and we are going to be making Italian pizzel cookies because we make them every year for the holidays. When did you start making pizzels? Well, the first time I made them was with my mom, and she made them every year at Christmas. Mm. She'd get out the old pizzel iron and then just make a whole pile of them, and then she'd mail them out to her friends and family. All right, so today we are going to teach you how to make our family recipe of Italian pizzels. The first thing we do is warm up the pizzel iron. This is going to be the only piece of special equipment that you're going to need. Okay, I'm plugging it in, getting ready to go. Mamma Mia, that first step was very easy. What's the next step? We're going to sift the flour mm -hmm. and the baking powder. That's right. So I'm going to hold this. We're just going to get this ready while our pizzel iron heats up. Here's all of our sifted flour. It's looking good and nice and delicate. I'm going to set it off to the side. What's next, Mama Mia? So in the bowl, I put six eggs. Now we're going to mix these eggs mm -hmm. until they're light and foamy. And this usually only takes about two to three minutes. Once you've mixed your eggs for two minutes, you're going to slowly add in your sugar and then mix for two more minutes. Okay, our eggs are looking good. They're nice and fluffy. Now we're gonna add a bunch of melted butter and then we've got a little vanilla extract and anise. All right, now you're just gonna mix together till well combined. Okay, we're now ready for the flour mixture. We're gonna add our flour into two parts just so it doesn't get a big poof dust cloud. Batters up! <laughs> So mom's using a little mini scoop. These are like cookie scoops and it's a heaping tablespoon size. So Mama Mia, how long do you cook them for? One minute and 15 seconds. All right. 
They're done. That's our minute. And then you use a little fork. Here you go, Mama Mia, because okay. they're real hot. So be careful, don't get your fingers. Ooh. And we're just flinking them on a little baking sheet right in front of us so that they can cool down. They're mm -hmm. just really pliable and soft. Yeah. And as they cool, they're going to get really hard. Then you just keep doing this for the rest of your batter. Make as many cookies as you'd like. Once you've made all your cookies, let them completely cool, and then we're gonna dust them with some powdered sugar. Did you? Oh, Mamma Mia, these look perfect. Yes, they do. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. 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 Very good. Mmm. -hmm. And there you have it, Italian Pitzel cookies for the holidays. Enjoy. On to the next cookie. The next cookie that we're going to be making is a present pinata cookie. This recipe is also from my second cookbook, Baking All Year Round. And if you've never heard of a pinata cookie, it's basically a surprise cookie. We make multiple cookies, it's hollowed on the inside, and you can put anything you want in the middle. I'm going to be putting some little candies, but it's up to you. You can pick whatever. And the cookies are going to look like little presents that you can put underneath the tree, or really in my mouth. First step to making these cookies, we're going to whisk together our dry ingredients in a large mixing bowl. You're going to mix your flour, baking powder, and salt. Whisk together till well combined. Looking good, now set it off to the side. Because this is a cream cheese sugar cookie recipe, we're going to be now mixing together our butter, sugar, and cream cheese. Now mix together until light and fluffy. Usually takes a couple minutes. Once light and fluffy, you're going to add one whole egg and an additional yolk. So add your egg, mix it up, and then your second yolk. Mix it up. Last but not least, don't forget your vanilla extract. Mixed up again. Now add your dry ingredients into your butter mixture. I'm going to do so in two increments so we don't get a big dust cloud like so. Add half, mix it up, then add the second half and mix it up. Divide your dough into two bowls. I put a little bit of food coloring, a little bit of red in here, a little bit of green in here, and mix them up. <laughs> They're looking good, now let's roll them out. Fun tip with this recipe, you can roll out your dough between two silicone mats, it really helps. Roll it out to be about a quarter inch thick, boo-boo, like so, and now we're gonna cut out our squares. Also, you can pop the dough in the freezer to chill for about 15 minutes before you do this so that they hold their shape. But remember, you're going to need two solid pieces for the bottom and the top. And then for the middle, we're going to need two pieces with a smaller little cutout so it will be hollow to put our little candies. Just keep cutting out your shapes and we're going to do the same thing with the green dough. Roll it out and cut squares. Got all of our cookies cut out and now we're going to pop them in the freezer to chill for about 15 minutes before we pop them into the oven. We do this because a cream cheese sugar cookie recipe, the dough is just very soft and we want them to hold their shape while they're baking. Then you're gonna heat your oven to 350 degrees and bake for about 10 minutes. The cookies have baked, I gave them plenty of time to cool, and now it's time to assemble. And in these little piping bags, I've got some royal icing. I've covered them green, red, we have regular white, and I put a little tip on the end for a little bit more control. The solid one is going to be the base. Just pipe an outline all the way around with your green icing. And the reason we're using green on green icing is so if any spills out the side, you won't really notice. Then stick this one right on top, do the same thing. Pipe an outline all the way around. Stick this one on. There you go, the box is almost done. Don't put on the lid yet the last cookie because we've got to fill it. Here's where you can fill it with any candy that you'd like. I like little M&Ms, so I'm just gonna fill it with as many that could fit in there. Get in there, get in there. Now we're gonna put the lid on the present. Pipe the outline all the way around and place on the top cookie. Look how cute! Then you're gonna do this to the rest of your cookies. Our present cookies are all assembled, now it's time to decorate. I've got some white royal icing in a little piping bag with a basket tip at the end, but we're gonna be putting the spiky side down. This is a number 47 tip. I'm gonna be using it to pipe the look of a ribbon. I'm just gonna pick up my cookie, start on one side, do my best to eyeball it, go all the way around. Now we're gonna go the other way. Look how cute! Last up is decorating the top of the present. You can pipe a little bow, whatever you like. I wanna make some holly leaves. Make three right on top. And then I'm gonna make three more. I'm gonna kinda layer them. Last but not least, I'm just sprinkling on three little red or pink sprinkles to look like holly. Oop, put them right on top. 
Then just keep decorating like this to all your cookies. Ta da! And there you have it present pinata cookies. This is a delicious cream cheese sugar cookie recipe. I absolutely love this recipe. And there's some yummy little surprises in the center. I hope you guys enjoy. It's not Christmas yet, but let's open a present early. Okay, time for our next cookie. All right, for day number four, we are gonna be making press holiday cookies. I love these, they have so much nostalgia for me because my mom used to, whether you call it a cookie press or a cookie gun, she used to make little Christmas tree press cookies every year growing up. So these have a special place in my heart. And the flavor of cookie that we're gonna be making, not just your traditional butter cookie, but I was inspired by the flavors of these, which my mom also used to make every holiday season. This is an orange with a bunch of cloves stuck in there. I don't know why she did this, but she's done this for years and now I like to do this. It makes your whole house smell delicious. And I believe these are called pomander balls. I don't know you guys. If you know how to correctly pronounce that name, please let me know. First thing that we're gonna do in a large size mixing bowl is we're gonna mix together our flour, ground cloves, and a little bit of salt. Whisk together till well combined and set off to the side. Now in a large mixing bowl, we're gonna cream together our butter and sugar. You want your butter to be at room temperature so it's nice and soft, easy to cream. You don't want it to be melted and you don't want it to be cold from the refrigerator. Mix together for a couple minutes on a medium speed till everything is light and fluffy, like a cloud. Then add one egg, the whole egg, the white and the yolk, some vanilla extract, and some fresh orange zest. Mix together one more time till well combined. Butter mixture is looking good. Now add all of our dry ingredients to the butter mixture and mix together until well combined. Oh my gosh, the dough smells amazing. I've divided it into three different bowls in front of me. This one we're gonna leave plain. This one I put a little bit of green food coloring and this one a little bit of red. This is totally optional, don't need to do it. I'm just doing it for fun. Now you're gonna mix in your colors. The dough is the color we want. Now it's time to load our cookie press. I've already loaded the green dough into this press and I'm gonna show you how to do it over here. You just roll your dough into a log. Now you're just gonna to load it into your cookie press just like that. We've got our dough and our cookie presses. Now we're gonna use these little discs. There's a ton of them. They make tons of different little shapes and designs and you just place them at the top of your cookie press and then attach the coupler on top. In front of me, I have a baking sheet. There's nothing on it. It's not lined with parchment paper. It's not greased. You don't need to do that because this butter cookie recipe will not stick. So what you're gonna do is just take your cookie press, put it right down on the sheet and click. Look how cute! Now just keep doing this, make as many as you'd like. I'm gonna take some gold sprinkles and place them in the middle. Boop, 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 just throw a bunch of them in the middle so it will really look like a little poinsettia flower. And then for our Christmas tree, there's these little star sprinkles, how cute. I'm gonna put a little star on the top because that's what my mom used to do. And she used to put these little teeny sprinkles all over the tree to kind of look like ornaments. Once you're done, heat your oven to 350 degrees and bake these cookies for for nine minutes. And ta-da, here are all the holiday press cookies that we made today. I absolutely love these. They're so adorable when they're all done. And these have a special little place in my heart, a lot of nostalgia attached to this cookie. And the recipe is delicious. It's a wonderful elevated butter cookie recipe with fresh orange and clove. Mmm. That's it. This recipe is bomb.com. I hope you guys try it and enjoy it. Now, on to the next cookie. The next cookie that we're gonna be making is a classic, traditional Christmas cookie, the Linzer cookie. If you've never had one of these, they're delicious. The texture is kind of like a shortbread and the flavor has a little bit of nuttiness. Let's get going. First step to making these cookies, in a medium-sized bowl, we're gonna to whisk together our dry ingredients. Whisk together your flour, toasted almond flour, salt, pinch of cinnamon, and pinch of allspice. Then whisk together till well combined and set off to the side. Next step is creaming together our butter and powdered sugar. Using a mixer, mix together till light and fluffy, just takes a couple minutes. Now add one yolk 
and some vanilla extract and mix together till well combined. Once combined, you're gonna add all of your dry ingredients to your butter mixture. Now mix together until just combined. As soon as the flour has disappeared, stop mixing. Those looking good, now I'm gonna divide it into two and roll it out in between two silicone mats. Once that's done, you're gonna pop them in the freezer for about 15 minutes. Just took the dough out of the freezer, rolled it to be about an eighth an inch thick. Now just cut out as many cookies as you can. Once you got your cookies cut out, I like to transfer them onto a baking sheet lined with a piece of parchment paper before I cut out the stars. All the cookies are cut out, and as you can see, half of them have stars and half of them are plain, and that is perfect. Now we're gonna pop them in the freezer to chill for 15 minutes so it's gonna help them hold their shape while they bake, and then you're gonna heat your oven to 350 degrees and bake for about seven to nine minutes. Once your cookies have baked, give them plenty of time to cool, then it's time to decorate just a little bit and put these together. So to decorate the tops, we're just gonna sprinkle a little powdered sugar over the top. And then for the bottom, we're gonna spread a little jam in the center. Place the dusted star right on top. A Linzer cookie! We did it! Now just do this to the rest of your cookies. Ta-da! And there you have it, traditional Linzer cookies. These are very easy to make, and I just love a jammy biscuit. I can't get enough of these, you guys. I hope you guys enjoy. They're classic, they're iconic, and they're so good. Oh my gosh, they just melt in your mouth. All right, now it's time for the next cookie. All right, the next cookie that we're making is a holiday staple. Gingerbread cookies. The recipe that we're gonna be making today is the one from my second cookbook, Baking All Year Round. And it's not just a gingerbread cookie recipe, but it's a little softer. All right, let's get baking. And the first step to making this recipe in a large mixing bowl, we're gonna whisk together our dry ingredients. We're gonna add flour, ginger, nutmeg, clove, cinnamon, and some baking soda and a little salt. Whisk together until well combined and then set off to the side. Next up in a large mixing bowl, we're gonna cream together our butter and not just any sugar, you guys. This is dark brown sugar, my favorite. Now cream together your butter and sugar. We're gonna mix on a medium speed for just a couple minutes till light and fluffy. See how the color has really lightened up? It's a lighter brown. That's how you know you have creamed these together well enough. Like this is looking good. Now we're gonna add your molasses and one egg, the whole egg, the yolk and the white. Mix together once again until well combined. Pour your dry ingredients into your butter mixture. We're gonna mix together in two parts. So add half, mix it up, and then add the second half and mix it up. Dough's looking good. Now I'm going to roll it out to be about a quarter inch thick and pop it in the freezer to chill for about 30 minutes. After the dough has chilled, we're gonna cut out our cookies and place them onto a baking sheet lined with a piece of parchment paper. Got our cute little cookies on the sheet and they are ready to bake. Before we pop them in the oven, I'm gonna pop them in the freezer to chill for 15 minutes so that they help keep their shape while they're baking. But you're gonna heat your oven to 350 degrees and bake for about 10 minutes. After the cookies have baked, I gave them a little bit of time to cool, but they're still warm. While they're still warm, you're gonna press in your little candies for their buttons. And I just pipe on two little eyes, a cute little smile, and some squiggles. I love him. Ah! And ta-da, here's the gingerbread cookies that we made. This is my favorite Christmas cookie of all time. And he knows it. Mmm. Mmm. Next cookie that we're gonna make is one themed after one of my favorite holiday treats, Twinkie Pudding! But because it's more like a cake, I'm gonna make an Italian chocolate cookie, because I'm Italian, and we're gonna decorate it to look like little Twinkie Pudding. First up to making these cookies in a medium-sized bowl, we're gonna whisk together our dry ingredients. You're gonna mix your flour, cocoa powder, baking powder, cinnamon, nutmeg, clove, espresso powder, and a little bit of salt. Then whisk together until well combined and set off to the side. Now in a large mixing bowl, we're gonna beat together two eggs until frothy. It's about two minutes and then we're gonna slowly start adding our sugar while we mix. 
Once your sugar has been incorporated, you're gonna now mix for an additional two minutes until it becomes a little bit more pale and thick. This is looking really good, and now we're gonna continue to mix, and while mixing, slowly add your olive oil, milk, and vanilla extract. Our wet ingredients are ready, we've got our dry ingredients. Now pour half of your dry ingredients into the wet, just eyeball it, and then we're gonna mix it up, and then we're gonna add our second half. The batter's looking good, it's really thick, it's supposed to be, mm, nom, 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 nom. Now, fold in some chopped almonds and mini chocolate chips. Because the batter's thick, you probably wanna use a wooden spoon. Now, before we scoop our cookie dough onto the tray, I've just covered it with some plastic wrap and you're gonna to wanna to let it sit out at room temperature for 30 minutes just to allow the flour to absorb more moisture and allow all the flavors to melt. The dough has rested now we're gonna scoop our little cookies onto a baking sheet lined with a piece of parchment paper. We're gonna pop these in the freezer for two minutes to chill, and then take them out and roll them with our hands to make more perfect circle. Cookies are ready to bake. You're gonna heat your oven to 350 degrees and bake these for 10 minutes. And you don't wanna over bake because you still want them to be a little moist on the inside. While the cookies are baking, we're gonna make some decorations for the top. In some piping bags, I have royal icing that I've dyed green and red here on top of a little piece of parchment paper in front of me. And you just start your little design and then pull away and you're gonna make these little leaves and they're gonna look like holly. Ah, like this! So just pipe a bunch of leaves and then you're gonna let these dry at room temperature for about an hour and place them on top of a cookie. And then with the red, we're gonna pipe little circles. Our little designs are looking so cute, I've let them dry. After your cookies have baked, give them plenty of time to cool. You want them to be completely cool before you decorate. And this is gonna be the final product. This is what we're going for, the white icing on top. It's not your regular royal icing. This is powdered sugar, milk, and a little bit of vanilla extract that I put into a piping bag. You're just gonna do some like drip lines. Pretend you're piping like a little flower with all these little bubble petals or something. You can put some more in the middle. And while the icing is still wet, place on your little royal icing details. Just like my sweater. Ta-da! Then you're gonna do this to the rest of your cookies. And ta-da, there you have it. Chocolate Italian cookies decorated to look like little figgy puddings. They're so cute, adorable, I love them. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. It is one of my favorite. Let's have a little bite. Oh my gosh, the texture is amazing, the taste is amazing, and these are just too cute, you guys. Now, on to the next cookie. All right, our next cookie that we're gonna be making is not a reindeer cookie. This was just my fun little outfit, but we were gonna be making eggnog sugar cookies, and this recipe is great because they don't spread while they bake. All right, let's get baking. First up to making these cookies in a medium-sized bowl, we're gonna mix together your flour, cinnamon, nutmeg, baking soda, and some salt. Whisk together till well combined and set off to the side. Next up in a large mixing bowl, we're going to cream together our butter and sugar. Then with an electric hand mixer, you're gonna mix together on a medium speed for a couple minutes until it's light and fluffy. It's looking good, it's so fluffy. Now you're gonna add one egg and just a little bit of rum extract. Now mix together one more time. The butter mixture is perfect. Now we're gonna alternate adding our dry ingredients and our eggnog. So you're gonna add half of the dry ingredients, mix it up, then add your eggnog, mix it up, then add the second half of the dry, and mix it up. The dough is done, it's perfect, and it smells amazing, you guys. Now we're gonna roll out the dough to be an eighth of an inch thick and pop it in the freezer for about 30 minutes to chill. Once your dough is frozen, we're gonna cut out all of our little cookies. I'm gonna cut out my little snowman and then I'm gonna pop it over here and we're just gonna cut this little notch right in the middle, maybe about a quarter inch thick, so it can fit over most any coffee mug. Pop it out, boom! Then our snowman is perfect, ready to go. Just before you bake them, be sure to pop them back in the freezer for about 15 minutes so they really hold their shape while they bake. After you pop your cookies out of the freezer, you're gonna heat your oven to 350 degrees and bake for eight minutes. Once your cookies have baked, give them plenty of time to cool, and then it's my favorite time, it's time to decorate. What you're gonna do is pipe an outline all the way around your little snowman or whatever you've chosen 
So with this one, you just fill it in. Then you can use a toothpick to smooth out all the little gaps. And just pipe a solid line all the way across. And then you can fill in the hat. Two little dots for the eyes and work my way down. All done. Then for the snowflakes, I piped little different designs just using the white royal icing. Then for these cute 3D houses, I glue them together with icing, use the thicker icing, and you put it together just like you would a gingerbread house. I'm just gonna pipe little balls all the way on the top. Then just keep doing this to all the sides where you connected your house. Then just keep decorating your cookies however you'd like. Get creative with it. And da -da, there you have it. Here are all the side of the cup cookies that we made today with a delicious eggnog sugar cookie recipe. They're perfect to just stick on the side of your cup. You can enjoy coffee in a cookie. Look at that. It's a whole house on the side of your cup. This recipe will knock your socks off. Mm. It's day nine, we're making candy cane cookies. I love this recipe because the cookies look like candy canes and taste like candy canes. Mwah! First up to making these cookies, you guys know what it is. Whisk together our dry ingredients in a medium sized bowl. Add your flour and a little bit of salt. Then whisk together till well combined and set off to the side. Next up in a large size mixing bowl, you're gonna cream together your butter and sugar. Then using an electric hand mixer, we're gonna mix together at a medium speed for a couple minutes until light and fluffy. So fluffy. Once mixed, you're gonna add an egg and a little bit of peppermint extract. Then mix together until well incorporated. Butter mixture is looking good. Now you're gonna add all of your dry ingredients to the butter mixture and mix together till well combined. Now we're gonna add our last ingredient, some heavy cream. Ugh, so heavy, whew, gotta use my muscles. <laughs> Add your cream and mix it up. Divided the dough in half into two bowls. One, we're gonna leave plain so you can set this off to the side. And then the other one, I put a little bit of red food coloring in there and we're gonna mix it together. Our dough is now colored and ready to turn into candy canes. So we've got our, both of our doughs are regular and red. Take a little pinch of the red, little pinch of the white, and then we're gonna roll a little log and then we'll roll our other one put them next to each other. Then I'm gonna kinda pinch the ends and twist, and twist. I'll help it out a little bit. Twist, twist, twist. And then, this is the fun part. I love this, I don't know why. We're gonna take your little hands and gently, we're gonna roll them together. Oh, look at that. We want the width to be about half an inch wide. All right, we've got about half an inch all the way down. This is looking really cute. Now we're gonna cut the ends off. Boop, because we want a nice clean cut. And we want each candy cane to be about four inches long. Now we're gonna take these little guys, boop, pick them up, place them onto your baking sheet, and you're just gonna shape them just like that. Once you've got all your cookies on the sheet, they are ready to bake, but before you pop them in the oven, we're gonna pop them in the freezer for 15 minutes to chill. This will help them keep their shape while they're baking. Then you're gonna heat your oven to 325 degrees and bake for about 12 minutes. Ta-da! And once they bake, give them plenty of time to cool and then enjoy. Something I really love about this recipe is if you're not in the mood to decorate, you don't have to because the twisting is the decorating. And look how cute they are. Oh my gosh, they look like they could just fit right on my sweater. Now, one for me. Mmm, delicious! Next cookie. It's day 10 and we're making Grinch themed crinkle cookies. I love making crinkle cookies for the holidays, but I've also made them other times of year. Like in my second cookbook, Baking All Year Round, I make them for spring. I have a lemon crinkle cookie recipe. Today we are using that same recipe from my cookbook, but we are switching a few ingredients to make them instead of lemon crinkle cookies, to make them pistachio crinkle cookies for the holidays. First up to making these cookies, you'll never guess what it is, but it is mixing together our dry ingredients in a medium-sized mixing bowl. So you're gonna mix together flour, baking soda, baking powder, and a little bit of salt. Then whisk together till well combined and set off to the side. Next step is creaming together our butter and sugar in a large size mixing bowl. Then using an electric hand mixer, mix together on a medium speed for about two minutes until light and fluffy. Once light and fluffy, you're gonna add an egg and some pistachio extract. Then mix together again until well combined. This is looking good and now now we're gonna pour all of our dry ingredients into our butter mixture. Now you're gonna mix together until all the flour is incorporated. Last but not least, you're gonna add your milk. 
and mix it up one more time. Dough's looking good and I've added just a little bit of green food coloring. Now just mix together until the color turns even and fully incorporated. The dough is looking grinchy green, it's perfect. Now we're gonna take a piece of plastic wrap and instead of placing it on the top of the bowl, you're gonna actually press down with your hand and place it on the top of the dough. This is gonna keep it from drying out while it's in the fridge. Once you've covered your dough, you're gonna pop this in the fridge to chill for one hour. Just took the dough out of the fridge, it's nice and chilled and it's ready to scoop. So I'm just gonna scoop this nice and icy. All right, pack in there. We're gonna pop it out, then using your hands, lightly roll like this, toss it in a bowl of powdered sugar. Roll it around, you wanna make sure that everything is covered. It will almost look like a snowball cookie, but when they bake and they expand, you're gonna get that crinkle look. Plop it on your baking sheet, and then you're just gonna keep doing this for the rest of the cookie dough. Give them plenty of room to spread. Once you've got your cookies on the sheet, you're gonna heat your oven to 350 degrees and bake for about 11 minutes. While our cookies are baking, we're gonna make our super simple decorations. What I love about this recipe, it only has one decoration. This is it, it's the little Grinch's heart. And we're making two size hearts because at the beginning of the story, he has a very small heart. So there's these teeny little hearts over here and then we're piping these bigger hearts. So you just start on one side of the heart, make a little dot and then pull it down and then make another little dot and pull it down. And now we're gonna make some big hearts. I'm not changing the tip, I'm just gonna be putting some more pressure and holding the tip longer. Whoop, and then dragging down. Whoop, and then dragging down. Our cookies have baked, we gave them plenty of time to cool, and now we're gonna add on our super simple decorations. So I'm just gonna gently press down on the heart, very gently, I don't wanna break my design. Then I'm just gonna put a little dot of the royal icing right on the back and place right onto my cookie. It's so cute! And ta-da! There you have it here, our Grinch-themed pistachio crinkle cookies. After all that hard work, I'm gonna have myself a little bite. I hope you guys enjoy the recipe. I love crinkle cookies. They're one of my favorite cookies, especially for the holidays. Oh my gosh. It is so light and fluffy with a light little crinkle crisp at the top and then the powdered sugar hits your tongue and you can really taste the pistachio. These are delicious. So if you know someone who's a Grinch, these cookies may help their heart grow. On to the next cookie. Ooh. Day 11, we're making snowman meringue cookies. These meringue cookies are super cute, but I absolutely love them because anytime I'm making a meringue, I just love seeing a liquid go to a solid. I just feel like it's magic. I love it because science. So the first thing that we're gonna do is add our egg whites. Now we're gonna add a little bit of salt and a little cream of tartare. Cream of tartare, cream of tartar. If you've never used it before, it's a stabilizer. It really helps meringues hold their shape. And because we're making little snowmen, that's really gonna help us out today. And it's gonna create a little glossiness, a little shine. Now we're gonna turn this on, mix together for a couple minutes on a medium speed. We want the egg whites to get foamy. This takes two to three minutes. Once your eggs are nice and foamy, you're gonna start mixing again on a medium speed and slowly adding your sugar. You're gonna add your sugar over a minute and then allow the mixture to keep mixing for an additional five to eight minutes. Just keep mixing until stiff peaks form. For this part, mix together on a high speed. Oh yeah, here we go. That's what you want. This is a stiff peak. Our final step, we're gonna add a little vanilla extract and you're only gonna mix until it's incorporated, for, so just for a few seconds, not long. I scooped all of the meringue in a large piping bag with a big circle tip at the end. It's a number 2A. Now, in front of me, I've got a baking sheet lined with a piece of parchment paper and we're gonna pipe our little snowman meringues. So these snowmen are gonna be two balls high. So what you wanna do is hover right above and start applying pressure. Ooh, oop, and that's the base, and then we're gonna pipe the top, his head. So we're gonna go again, make another little ball, we're gonna hover, and then here, so we don't get a little Hershey kiss at the top, we're gonna do a little swirl to try to smooth it out. And right away, while it's soft, right after you pipe, we're gonna add a little orange sprinkle for the nose. All right, now we're just gonna keep piping a bunch of meringue snowmen onto our baking sheet. Look at all these, we've got an army of snowmen. They're ready to bake. Now these baking instructions are a little bit different. We're gonna be doing a slow bake. What that 
means is we're gonna reduce the heat of the oven, not your traditional 350. You're gonna heat your oven to 225 degrees and you're gonna bake these for one hour. I know it seems like a long time, it is, but it's also worth it. These meringue cookies are delicious. It's like eating clouds. After they've baked for an hour, turn off your oven, leave the door closed, for two hours and leave them in there. This is gonna help dry them out without browning them. I'm not kidding you guys, no peeking. Do not crack that door open and peek on them. Just look through the glass. That's why it's see-through. <laughs> Once your little meringues have baked and cooled completely, time to decorate. So they have already got these cute little carrot noses with an orange sprinkle. And now we're gonna use a little bit of melted chocolate to pipe their eyes, little smile out of coals, little hands like look like twigs. So cute. Now do this to the rest of your meringue cookies. And ta-da, there you have it, all of our snowman meringue cookies. They are so cute. These are just adorable. Even though they take a little bit of patience and they have a long baking time, they are worth it. I mean, look how cute these are. These are almost too cute to eat, but I'm gonna go for it. Sorry, Frosty. It's like eating a crispy, crunchy marshmallow, you guys. Now on to our last cookie. Woo! It's day 12, our last cookie. I'm so excited because this one was inspired by a delicious cookie that I found at William Sonoma. It was this yummy chocolate cookie, and then it had like white chocolate on top and the peppermint bark. So today we are recreating those at home from scratch. We're making peppermint bark chocolate cookies. We're gonna start by making our chocolate cookie and it is very chocolatey, very yummy. In a medium sized bowl, you're gonna add your flour, cocoa powder, espresso powder, little salt, and some baking powder. Then whisk together till well combined. You want everything to be the same color and then set it off to the side. Next in a large mixing bowl, we're gonna cream together our butter and sugar. Using an electric hand mixer, mix together for a couple minutes on a medium speed until light and fluffy. And now we're gonna add an egg and add a little bit of vanilla extract. Mix it up one more time till well combined. This is looking perfect. Now you're gonna mix in all the dry ingredients on a low speed because we're gonna add them all. This is what your chocolate cookie dough should look like. It's really thick and smells amazing. <laughs> Oh. Now roll out your dough to be about a quarter inch thick and we're gonna pop it in the freezer for about a half hour to chill. Once your dough has chilled, you're gonna take it out of the freezer and we're gonna cut out all of our little cookies and place them on top of a baking sheet lined with a piece of parchment paper. Now cut out as many cookies as you can. Once you got your cookies on the sheet, it's time to bake and these baking instructions are hot and fast. You're gonna heat your oven to 375 and bake for eight minutes. So in front of me, I've got a bowl of melted white candy melts. You can also use white chocolate if you'd like, whatever you've got in your kitchen. And I'm gonna add a little bit of peppermint oil. Now this is not peppermint extract. If you use peppermint extract, it's going to make your chocolate seize, which means it's gonna get really chunky and gross. So just mix it in there. Our peppermint white chocolate is all ready and our cookies are done baking. They're out of the oven. They've had plenty of time to cool and now we're gonna dip them. Take one of your cookies and just plop it in the bowl. Plop. Completely coat the cookie. Then using a fork, you're gonna scoop it up and on the side of the bowl, just tap. Tap, 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 tap. Then we're gonna slide to get that excess off the bottom. And then we're gonna place on top of a piece of parchment paper. <gasps> it's gorgeous! Last step, take a pinch of crushed candy cane and put it over the top. Then do this to the rest of your cookies. Ta-da! There you have it, chocolate peppermint bark cookies, just like the ones that I love from William Sonoma. These are so good, you guys. They kind of remind me of the Thin Mint cookies. Now let's take a bite. Mm. Oh my gosh. We definitely saved the best for last. These cookies may be my favorite out of all the ones that we made. They just taste amazing. All right, that does it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed the 12 days of cookies. Let me know in the comments which cookie was your favorite. And let me know if I should do this again next year because this was so much fun. I don't think I've ever put this many recipes into one video before. And I loved it, I loved it, I loved it, I loved it, I loved it. I loved it. 
Anyways, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, it's free, and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. All right, you guys, thanks for watching, and happy holidays, Merry Christmas, bye-bye. And if you'd like to watch any other videos, you can click up here or up here.